nowhere to turn to. So the God in all his intelligence, in all his experience, in all his ingenuity, must make sure when the Cameroonian comes to this court, he gets justice. He gets an answer. Justice delayed, justice denied. Because denial is the worst form of persecution you can give a citizen. As a matter of fact, that is the strength. That is the motor. That is the reactor that drives revolution. The feeling of no recourse. It is worse before this court because there is no instance above you. There is no instance before, below you. So it starts with you and ends with you. It's for you to decide whether the Cameroonian will leave here saying, well, I lost, but there was justice. That obligation you have. So I insist you have a rare opportunity, even to human beings, us mortals, you have a rare opportunity to write the future. No one will wait for it to happen. Are the same in form and in substance, but the objectives are different. One seeks to ask for certain members to step aside, and the other seeks for the whole body to set, set, set aside. So I interrogate myself in the wisdom of the joinder. That's the first question, the first observation I would make. I won't be long because for many of us, it's going to be a long day, maybe a long night. By saying this, our country is young. Young indeed. And we have not had the advantage in this country of going through the normal transition towards democracy. We have drifted from a one-party state to a one-party democracy. Uh, maybe you might say there are many, but that's what it is. And through years, willy-nilly, we have witnessed the fusion of the civil service, of the judiciary, of the government, of the legislative, and this fusion has caused bloodlines. That is the country we have. In your wisdom, my lord, my lady, in your wisdom, you have to set the pace. You have to shine the light. Otherwise, us included, will be judged severely by history. I thank you, my Lord.